So come on in, take a sip. Let's wind down on the Tuesday grid. Um, it is just a beautiful day, and it's just especially punctuated for me with this wonderful Gutmann. It's this Blau Frankish from 2018 that really just has me all a flutter these days, right? It's not quite like when I met the love of my life, but uh, close, but not quite. So we have a grid today uh, by Gary Larson and Amy Enns, edited by Joel Faliano. And I wonder what the chances are that this is the cartoonist who made so famous the Far Side cartoons of the 1980s in my childhood. So it'd be interesting to find that out. I don't know. My gosh, I don't even know if he's still alive or not. So let's, uh, let's hop into our grid. Let's see what we got today. All right, average grade for a 3.3 GPA. Well, I graduated with undergrad 3.3 GPA, so I can pretty much answer that right now. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. I was one of those that D equals diploma. <laughs> Nickname for George Herman Ruth, and I think we're talking about the babe. Thrice repeated words in one of Gertrude Stein's truisms. And I do believe this would be a rose is a rose is a rose. Busy season for limo drivers. How about a prom? Sting operation at a senior center. Well, I see this B.O. And I see seniors, right? Which, you know, the baby boomers have moved into so we'll just take a shot at putting boomerang because i have no idea what's next the weaving machine is a loom so point one for just putting boomer in many a roll in jarhead all right yeah absolutely it's full of devil dogs wasn't it u.s marines button on the back of many appliances i'm gonna go with reset on this one so so far we haven't had a lot of challenge uh impulsive Uh, well, I expect to have some more. It's not just jumping out at me. Uh, let's see. Mountain range along the French-Italy border. And I guess this would be the Alps, of course. Um, and one of two for the Ten Commandments. I do believe these would be on tablets. Um, sting Operation of Senior Center. Boomer. blue one's top could be erupted and okay is this sting operation at a senior center is it a boomer bust like boom or but instead of the r the er well let's find out what well, we got here she is miss america office sub is a temp unit of butter being a pat diva's deliria is a delivery is it all right well it's okay it's so many this is that's cool. Boomer bust. Uh, impulsive. <laughs> I, uh, rash, maybe? I don't know why. That's just not coming to me at all. Uh, mission for an F-16. Um... Okay, is this a G? Breakfast brand with a thick and fluffy variety? It can be. I don't know if it is or not, but it sounds like something Ego would do. If this is part of the theme, going along with boom or bust, I think this is going to be fight or flight. So, fight or flight. Because the F-16 is the fighting falcon. And um, if we're going to go with this boom or bust, but boomer bust. How about a fight or flight? I, we're gonna have to check it immediately though. Go bad to go rot. Doomed from the start for short. I guess that's dead on arrival. Way, way off, afar. So far I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is, this is good. Intention could be an aim. Shop till you drop. Vietnamese sandwich. Oh gosh, I can't remember. This is bon, bon mi 
Well, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna work with flight first. Uh, like a newbie could be green. Go team raw. State of confusion could be a haze. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is great. After that, maybe then. And high bar at the circus looks like trapeze. And yeah, I think this is a bun, bun me. I, but I do not know. Maybe I got the H in the end. I don't know. I have to wait. I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to fill it in if I don't know. I didn't have, I don't have a feeling like I do with the fight or flight or boom or bust, which I, this is ultimately really too cool and clever. Um, uniting idea could be a theme. Oh, so what do we got here? English playwright, coward. Yeah, that's Noel. Uh, kind of sax, alto. Yeah, I think maybe it was seven, but semi right about it. Uh, big shindig. Bad thing to be in poker. Good thing to be in golf. Okay, in a hole. <laughs> That's good. Hold back is the tide. <clears throat> and I'm assuming, yeah, aloe vera here in sun gel. That would be a bash. All right. Well, I'm ready to get to the next theme dancer. I'm liking this. Probably because it makes me feel so clever. Ooh, did you see how I picked that? I just guessed it. Did it make me so, ooh? Yeah, that kind of thing. I know, ridiculous, right? Circular gasket. Well, as an amateur watchmaker, and I say that because I don't do it professionally, <laughs> um, we've got them even there. We've got O-rings. In fact, I've got, a, I've got two O-rings in this watch right here, uh, this Omega Seamaster. So I think it's an O-ring because it just seems like it's going to fit there. Of higher quality, maybe finer. What the first call to a receptionist might come in on. And I'm going to assume line one. And count played by Jim Carrey in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. And I don't know. I just don't know. Um, never seen it. But I'm assuming it's going to be an Olaf or an Olav pronounced the same if it's a V or an F in the actual language, um, but base card in solitaire is an ace. Um, powdered wigs, petticoats, etc. Mm. Puerto Rico. Okay. So powdered wigs, petticoats, etc. Is this an M? Hairstylist foam. Yes, it's moose. Okay, so I think this is going to be Olaf with an F. Um, um, so what could this be? Is this is a former form? Form or function? Form or function? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, worn maybe could be old. Um, capital of South Korea, Seoul. Hey, I'm getting this way off here. Um, um, yeah, I guess that's an E form. We got here, jocks counterpart. Now is that really fair? What if you're a football nerd? It just happened to be a jock that plays it. What's the sound of one hand clapping? I did that in my freshman year philosophy 101 class. It was great. Pray for a mountain lion. Well, I don't think it's going to be an eel. So I guess we're going to go with an elk. It seems like that's a mighty big chew for a mountain lion. Christmas movie starring Will Ferrell. Well, that's fun. Okay. Former fashion, yeah. I guess I should take my wife's advice and just, when it comes to my mind, I should just put it in there. Uh, tidy one's feathers could be too preen. Uh, let's see. Is it like some flushes and screw ups. That could be royal. I don't know anything about no royal screw ups. 
Jekyll's counterpart, Hyde. But I want to know if it's the same person or split personality. Does it have to be that Dr. Jekyll loses his doctorate when he becomes Hyde? He can't just be Dr. Hyde, you know? <laughs> oh, Margarita Garnish. Oh, so we got... It's either going, what, it's going to be a lime or it's going to be salt, right? So what do we got? Got the House of Salwood, so we know that's salt. <laughs> I haven't... Uh, the the Karasi north of the okay. um I haven't had a margarita since forever. Three sheets to the wind. How about soused? <laughs> Quarterbacks interception. Oh, uh, okay. I think I see. I think it's going to be a, a pass or fail. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a goofy little thing, but I like it, right? You know, um, it's holding with it. So I guess Stephen King, like Isaac Asimov, you could say prolific for sure. <laughs> uh, Sep and Roth for two, and I think we're talking about IRAs here. Something to go off on. How about on a rant? Um, Senate helper could be very much an aide. And... Narrow opening, I'm going to go with a slit. What do you say 65 across is going to be the official language of India? <laughs> Let's see. Official language of India, of course. <laughs> Greek P is a row. And we've got an ensemble of eight. Ensemble du huit. A competitor of LIV Golf. I do believe this is the PGA. And worms habitat, probably soil. Long things for a long shot. Maybe odds. Small whirlpool, definitely an eddy. So reason to play it. To say PU could be an odor. So yeah, I guess those were odds. And um, so what do we got? Alter vowels. Oh yes, yeah, I want to make sure that wasn't making sense to me. Ideas. An instrument for Orpheus. Ooh, the Thracian bard. That's right. And I uh, do believe he married Eurydice. And what made his his odyssey so tragic was he had to go to hell to, to get to her. It's awful. All right, so a liar. He obviously played one. And, and, and I put in fat finger anything, fat finger syndrome, right, from our Sunday puzzle. Uh, how, did, how do we do, Bob? Well, I was gusting a lot of wind here today, I know. Just being a, your everyday blowhard going through the crossword. But it was a fun, tight, clever little grid. And wasn't uh, just, I didn't, I don't remember any uh, inelegant uh, fill coming out just right at me as in this was terrible, right? You know, uh, I mean, I couldn't even really complain about the, the ace card being, you know, yeah, the starting point in solitaire. It was, it was just good stuff. So uh, I got to find out if Gary Larson, A, if he's doing cartoons still, and, and if he's also doing crosswords, it'd be really interesting to see that. Um, but what a fun grid. Uh, and uh, really, I enjoyed it. So we'll, uh, we'll get rid of it for now. We'll bring it back on Wednesday, being tomorrow, when we'll come back for the mini and for the crossword. Now, what kind of new cheesy thing should I do to bring down the, the goodbye frame? Um, let's just go, bam! Like that. How about that? So until tomorrow, ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Chin chin, yeah? Alright, tschüss. Schönen Tag. <laughs>